Hey, it's Brent McMahon. Gonna fill you in on what uh, my swim workouts look like uh, in general, overall. In general, my swimming, uh, it's all mostly aerobic power. Um, I don't do a ton of speed work. Um, I have years of that uh, from when I was racing ITU. Um, but also, you know, for Ironman and half Ironman racing, you really don't need a ton of start speed. Um, you need more efficiency and you need more strength. So, uh, I've been working with the same coach, Ron Jacks at Pacific Coast Swimming for over 10 years now. Um, he specializes in open water swimming. He's wor worked with Richard Weinberger, the bronze medalist at the Olympics in 2012 in the 10K open water swimming. So. Uh, I've got a lot of expertise coming from him and I've really enjoyed his perspective on open water training for triathlon as well. Um, so most of my swimming, basically it's, it's actually quite simple. Uh, I do a swim kick warm up, usually that's 1500 to 2000 meters, um, usually about half of that swim, half of that kick. Then I go into a pull set and that's usually, depending on the overall mileage, um, that's usually about a third of the workout. So if I'm doing a 6K workout, I'll do about 2,000 meters of pull. Um, that's always with a band, um, just to create more resistance, keep body position, and just make sure you're not kicking. And then usually I then go into a swim set, and that's usually a descending swim set. So it'll start with longer intervals and slowly getting shorter or it'll be the same length intervals, but the pace time will gradually get faster and faster, and the speed should get faster and faster. So that's kind of how I do aerobic strength work. You know, the pull aspect is just straight strength, and then the swim set is just picking up the intensity and picking up the pace. And by the end, you're working really hard. Feels like speed work, but uh, it's all just aerobic power. For more on how I do things on my road to Ironman, check out my Instagram and Facebook.